Hey, Nelius, how Hi. are you? I'm excited. <laughs> yes. Thank you for my new name, Nelius. Yes, yes. Nelius Strategy, Nelius Spices, why not be Nelius? I love it. Sorry. I love it. Thank you so much for joining me. How have you been enjoying Core 4 this week? Uh, this week has been great. The connections, really about connections and building relationships, I will say the most. Mm -hmm. um, my entire session, really, as I listened to Mr. Love talk about connection, we took a deeper dive into relationship building and the connections that you make in the classroom. Yeah, that, that was such a great session. Um, and speaking of sessions, you spoke today. Yes, on the agile facilitation skills of the future, which are really identifying some of those core skills that you need in order to be agile in your facilitation skills, but also focusing on yourself. So we're starting with self-awareness. Mm. Starting with self-awareness, we're gonna lean into active listening. We're gonna go into experience. Are you leveraging your own experiences or the experiences of others in the classroom itself? Okay. But then also, really, you need those experiences. You need to have the active listening skills in order to truly be vulnerable because mm. you're gonna to have to share in order to get people to engage. Wow, I love that. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, do you want to dive into some rapid fire questions uh, yeah, about I'm here. that? Let me get situated. Then All right. I might need to duck and dive a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go. Okay. okay. So, what is your favorite icebreaker activity or energizer to kick off training? Favorite icebreaker activity, energizer, kick off training. Let's see. Um, dialogue. Okay. Dialogue and conversation. So, keep in mind when you're bringing everyone into an environment, you want them to connect, but you don't have a lot of time. So the best way to do is creating some, asking some of those open-ended questions. As Sardik was saying, start with what or how, okay. and allow them to have those organic conversations around that. And when you bring them back together, they're having that dialogue, they're having that conversation. Now you're able to capitalize off that to move into the content. Because guess what? They built a relationship. Right. They've connected with one another. Yeah. And that is the essence that, which you would need, that a facilitator would need in order to truly be agile and be able to share stories, to be able to share engagement, to really truly get everybody activated and energized in the, in the classroom itself. I love that. Thank All you. right. So pop quiz or group challenge, what's your preference? Uh, group challenge. Ooh, okay. And so okay. pop quizzes can be done individually. Again, I'm all about connection. I so, you know, I want that group challenge. I want to be able to mm -hmm. challenge people in their thought, critical thinking, problem solving skills, because you will be amazed at the innovation or the creativity that come out of that. That's true. Mm -hmm. That's true. All right. Yes. Okay. So what is one way to find your authentic facilitation style? What can you tell mm -hmm. our talent development professionals? One way to find your authentic facilitation style. And so I'm going to go back to leveraging all of the behavior assessments so that you can understand yourself. If you don't know who you are, you're not mm -hmm. going to be able to determine your authentic facilitation style. And that mm -hmm. starts with understanding who you are, how you communicate, how do you engage with others, um, how do you influence others. Mm -hmm. As a leader in this space, influence is one of those skills that you'll be able to leverage and use um, continuously in any facet. So when you're thinking about being agile, when you're thinking about you know, engagement, when you're thinking about how can I truly be myself and still move forward and move the class or the course or the project or anything authentically through those paths, that's the one thing, self-awareness. All yeah. of this is built on self-awareness. All of your great leaders know who they are. Mm, powerful. They know themselves. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And like they're that. able to guide and lead others. Yeah. Nice. I love that. All right. So pro tip. What is one tip that you can share to keep your audience engaged? So mastering vulnerability, not just in the classroom, but also externally. Experiences and vulnerability is what truly makes you unique. No one else has your experiences and no one can be vulnerable like you. Mm. So once you've mastered the self-awareness, you've been able to craft the stories and the engagement, and then when you're able to be vulnerable to share even the hard things in life, you're gonna have an impact on others and give them permission to do the exact same thing. And those experiences themselves are the things that truly change lives. Wow, thank you so much for joining me. Ah, thank you for having me. And so I love the invitation. I look forward to anything else going up in the future. All right. Yes, y'all have a good one.